Conference Carolinas is where tradition is unmatched and excellence is earned daily in the classroom, during practice, and in high-level competition. Our virtues set us apart. We work daily to build champions in body, mind, and soul. It's who we are. This is Conference Carolinas.
Wake up and focus. I wonder if you ever considered that you only have one life to live. I wonder if you have the courage to be exactly who you were called to be. I wonder if you understand that you can do anything if only you believe it. I wonder if anyone told you that you can be a leader, a trendsetter, the innovator of that brand new whatever that's not here yet, but that's only because you didn't introduce it yet. I wonder if you realize that your life's purpose is bigger than you and that it's ready to be awakened and make its mark in history. Are you awake yet? But what if, what if there's a place for you? A place, a place where you can dream higher, dream bigger, where your dreams and your future collide with God's vision and direction, where thinking and doing go hand in hand with innovation, where professors are more like mentors and guides, where generosity is contagious. And if you catch it, you might just change the world, y'all. There is a place where real faith-filled community allows you to know and be fully known, where faith is filled to the brim, so full it can wash away your doubts, where servant leaders of the next generation are grown, where your story can be written and change the course of history in that place. That place, Southern Wesleyan University. So it's time to wake up. You only have one life to live. Cause this is not a drill. This is not about cliches, shallow taglines, or some inspirational quote for you to tweet, snap, pin, or post. No, this is where snooze buttons are frozen. Alarm clocks are broken, where feet hit the floor cause dreams are now woken. This is it. Awaken your dreams. Awaken your soul. Awaken your purpose. This, Southern Wesleyan University.
Welcome to the campus of Southern Wesleyan University in beautiful Central South Carolina for today's contest. We would like to recognize the following partners for their support of Warrior Athletics. Best Western of Clemson, the preferred lodging choice of the Warriors. McAllister's Deli. Adidas, provided by Vision Sporting Goods. When we travel, we expect to be uncomfortable. We long for the security and the comfort of home. But here at Best Western, we focus on providing you with the most ample accommodations imaginable. We want to be your home away from home. Your security and comfort when the road is long. We want to gather and build friendships and families, strengthen community and sustain athleticism. Here, we celebrate fun, hard work, and enjoy the wonderful world around us. Here we want your downtime to be just as amazing as your game time. And finally, when it's time to leave, we hope you'll want to stay. Hey, believe me, don't you be a meanie. You thought you wanted me to go, or why you trying to keep me thinking? I was just a dreamy, wished it on a genie. I got fans finally, and she wanted them to see me. When we travel, we expect to be uncomfortable. We long for the security and the comfort of home. But here at Best Western, we focus on providing you with the most ample accommodations imaginable. We want to be your home away from home. Your security and comfort when the road is long. We want to gather and build friendships and families, strengthen community and sustain athleticism. Here, we celebrate fun, hard work, and enjoy the wonderful world around us. Here, we want your downtime to be just as amazing as your game time. And finally, when it's time to leave, we hope you'll want to stay. Make 
A trip to McAllister's is like visiting a lifelong friend, one who believes the recipe for good times calls for heartfelt conversation over a handcrafted meal, knows just how you like your tea, always has a refill ready, and welcomes every guest with their favorite food made to order. The kind of friend who is always up for trying something new and who you can count on for that familiar feeling of home. McAllister's Deli, great food brings us together. A trip to McAllister's is like visiting a lifelong friend, one who believes the recipe for good times calls for heartfelt conversation over a handcrafted meal, knows just how you like your tea, always has a refill ready, and welcomes every guest with their favorite food made to order. The kind of friend who is always up for trying something new and who you can count on for that familiar feeling of home. McAllister's Deli, great food brings us together.
Southern Wesleyan and Conference Carolinas want to encourage and promote sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, event staff, and spectators. Profanity, racial or ethnic comments, or intimidating actions directed at officials, student athletes, coaches, or event staff will not be tolerated in the grounds for removal from the site of competition. In order to provide the safest and most friendly environment for all, please use the public seating area on the hill and remain behind the dotted line. Keep a safe distance away from the playing surface. We would, re we would also request that spectators do not stand or walk behind the goals while the competition is underway. Pets are prohibited from all university buildings, outdoor athletic venues, and the amphitheater, and at all official university events, workspaces, classes, both indoors and outdoors. SWU does allow service animals in its athletic facilities. However, emotional support animals are not permitted in athletic facilities. If you have brought your pet today, we would ask that you please when we remain at the top of the hill with your pet on a leash. Thank you for assisting SWU in providing an environment to enjoy today's contest. Conference Carolinas is where tradition is unmatched and excellence is earned daily in the classroom, during practice, and in high-level competition. Our virtues set us apart. We work daily to build champions in body, mind, and soul. It's who we are. This is Conference Carolinas.
Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. I am Sawyer Price, and alongside me here is Kyle McCrary, and we are here for another game. Your Southern Wesleyan Warriors versus the Emanuel Lions. Kyle, how you doing today? I'm doing pretty good, Sawyer. How about yourself? I'm hanging in there. Beautiful Wednesday. Glad to be out here uh, watching some soccer, Kyle. Yeah, no, it's a beautiful day out here for soccer. Absolutely. <laughs> and right now, Joy Names has the ball. And the Lions clear it out. Now, Kyle, it's a gorgeous Wednesday here today. We finally got some fall weather for this game. Uh, feels pretty good out here. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely uh, definitely better than it did earlier in the season. Absolutely, and I bet you the, uh, the players are thankful for that. Got a nice cool breeze here on this beautiful Wednesday afternoon uh, for the matchup between the Warriors and the Lions here, Kyle. And the Lions have it down in Warrior territory. Taking it down into the box. Cross comes. Jen Golio gets some hands on it. And we clear it out. And the ball will go out of bounds. And that'll be a throw in for the Warriors. Yeah, today's starting lineup for uh, Manuel. Uh, number 22, Molly Lunsford, a freshman defender. Number 8, Bailey Garland, a sophomore defensive midfielder. Number 11, Lindsey Lee, a forward and a junior. Number 14, Vicky Ladere, freshman midfielder and defender. Peyton Day, a sophomore midfielder. Number 18, Rachel Wegeson, sophomore forward. Number 19, Hannah Logue, a junior forward. Number 20, Mariah Logue, a sophomore midfielder. Number 23, Lachlan Corliss, a senior midfielder. Number 25, Cynthia Gonzalez, a junior defender. And number 97, Hannah Welch, a senior goalkeeper for the Lions. And now for your Southern Wesleyan Warriors. Number two, Ashley Romanowski. A forward, she is a senior. You got number three, Brooke Cash, midfield slash forward. She's a freshman. You got number four, Ashton Irby, a defender. She's a sophomore. You got number six, Grace Williams, a defender, also a freshman. Number seven, Emily Corrier, a defender, a junior. We got number 10, Molly Waning, midfield, freshman. Number 11, Haley Von Enns, defender, freshman. Number 12, Rachel Curtis, freshman. I mean, forward, senior. Number 18, Mallory Butler, defender, a junior. Number 22, Joy Namst, a forward and a sophomore. And in goal today, folks, number 58, Jen Golio. Now, Kyle, we're already seeing some, some good play here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, good to see early a lot of uh, passes being completed. Yeah, and I, uh, I'd have to say the weather's probably playing a little effect down there. Everybody get that cool breeze going, uh, ready to play today. Yeah, absolutely. It's a lot easier to to be uh, excited to play when it's not so hot outside. Yeah, there you have it. Not, not having to worry about that wet bulb there, Kyle. Absolutely. Now the Warriors trying to get it out of their zone, and they are successful in doing that. And the Lions trying to regroup, working the ball into Warrior territory. Ball's handled in midfield. And the Warriors playing some solid defense here, Kyle. A shot on goal, high, barely got the fingertips of Jen Golio there, Kyle, and it trickles in for goal number one for the Lions. Lions strike uh, soon here. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, 
it's uh, very early in the game, and you hate to see that. Yeah, unfortunate there. Uh, Jen tried to get it, jumped as high as she could, and it just came off the fingertips. Yeah. And trickled in for goal number one. But good thing it is early on in the first half, and we'll see how the Warriors react here. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Kyle, the Warriors coming off a recent loss here against Mount Olive. Uh, pretty tough loss there, one to five. Yeah, um, you know, that's pretty tough. Uh, looking at the score, uh, giving up five goals and only able, being able to score one yourself is uh, never really a good day at all. But, um, you know. Yeah, Mount Olive, a tough team, too. Uh, hoping, hopefully we're going to see the Warriors bounce back here, uh, struggling uh, lately. I believe two losses so far in the previous two games. So hopefully the Warriors can... Take these Lions on and get back on the winning track here, Kyle. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, with an even record right now of 3-3-2, three, three, and two, you definitely hope that they can, uh, you know, get a win right here and go back over 500. Yeah, and that was right now the, uh, the Lions are putting on, on a lot of pressure again here, Kyle. Absolutely. Ball's already been inside the Warrior box for uh, quite some time now. Absolutely. Coming off of... Uh, a game against uh, you know Mount Olive, like you said earlier today, doesn't doesn't present much of a easier task as uh, Emmanuel comes in at six and three, four and two in the conference. Uh, yeah, Emmanuel's having a solid uh, season so far. Yeah, absolutely, they Lions are. playing well soccer. Absolutely, only lost to. Mount Olive two to nothing, and, and, and the ball's inside again. Another cross to the middle, and the Warriors coming up with some solid defense there. Kyle, sorry for interrupting you. Had some action there in the box. No, absolutely. And a good, good save by Romanowski there to keep the ball from going out of bounds. And looking at it now, Kyle, the Lions adding a lot of pressure here. Pretty quick on their feet. Yeah, absolutely. The ball seems to be in uh, Southern Wesleyan territory too much here to begin the game. And the throw in comes from the Lions here. And the Lions trying to regroup here, get something going. As the Warriors trying to set up some solid defense here and continue to just shut the Lions down after giving up that first goal early on here in the first half. And the ball will be cleared out of bounds. And the Lions move the ball into the box again. Tries to save it, but the ball will go out of bounds before the shot can get off, Kyle. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, a good speed right there to get the ball into the box. Just uh, trickles out of bounds right before she could, get any, she could get anything going. Yeah, hopefully this possession here. And a, and a bad kick there, Kyle, by number four, Ashton Irby, and that'll go out of bounds and lead... That's a costly turnover right there for the Warriors deep in their zone. Yeah, absolutely. And the throw in from the Lions. Warriors playing some solid defense. Mallory Butler comes up with the ball. Sends it up to Romo. Good footwork there. And a solid effort by Romanowski, at least trying to get the ball off their side of the field for once. Give a chance for the defense to regroup. Kind of kind of get some uh, get some breathing room there, Kyle. Yeah, absolutely. Um, definitely hope that the offense can can uh, retain possession a little bit more to give this defense a, a bit of a break. And a shot on goal. Wide right, that ball will go out of bounds, and that will lead to a goal kick. Kind of from the uh, the looks of it, the, the Lions are having some good uh, good passes out there. Yeah, absolutely. They're, they are moving the ball well, no doubt about that. Good ball movement. Uh, almost like we were talking about a few games ago, uh, a little short ball going so far. And Ashton will send that ball down. Tries to hit Mallory Butler, but unsuccessful. And the Lions come up with it, forcing the ball down in Warrior territory again. And another shot on goal here, folks. And Jen Golio comes up with a solid save there.
Now, Kyle, let's go ahead and talk about some some individuals who are playing well for the Southern Wesleyan Warriors. Uh, we got Ashley Romanowski um, coming off of a few good games here. She's actually uh, making school history here, Kyle. Uh, Ashley Romanowski has become the new leader in career points here. Uh, she's got 33 goals and 18 assists for a total of 84 points in her three seasons here. Uh, that's a great play throughout the three seasons she's been here. And not only that, she's been uh, been a key character here in the in, in this season so far for the Warriors. Yeah, absolutely. You can uh, you can always count on her to go out there and, and give it her best and have a pretty good game. She, uh, like you said, uh, career leader in uh, points in SWU history, and that's not an easy thing to do in, in just three years. And if you look at this season so far, she's already got nine goals and three assists for a total of 21 points. She's playing well this season, Kyle. Yeah, absolutely. Hopefully she can uh, add on a couple more goals here today. No doubt about that, Kyle. And we've got to give credit to the back line for the, for the Warriors here playing some solid defense, not only today but throughout the season so far. Warriors come in at a 3-3-2 and two record, hoping to get back on that winning track after the two losses here. On a solid clear, and that ball will go way out of bounds. And I believe there was an offside there. Ash and Irby will have a goal kick here. And that ball will come in towards midfield. Romanowski goes for a header. Rachel Curtis tries to make a play on the ball. But the Lions come up with it. And, a li and the Lions right back to that good, uh, good ball movement, Kyle. Yeah, absolutely. And a good effort there by that cross, but but just over the head of the of the, the Lion player. And a throw in. A sloppy one that. But luckily, the Warriors come up with it again. Lions seem to be quick here. Taking advantage of all the turnovers here from the Warriors, Kyle. Yeah, absolutely. We've got a foul on the play. That foul will be on number 11, Haley Von Inns, the freshman. And again, Kyle, a young team, but um, throughout the season they've been been playing well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, got a couple of uh, young starters, and anytime you can, uh, you know, start off as well as uh, Southern Wesleyan has, you know, you'll take it. And there will be a free kick here for the Lions. And the shot goal is blocked. And number 11 for the Lions, Lindsey Lee will send that ball way out of bounds. Solid boot there, Kyle. That ball will trickle all the way down into the woods. And Ash and Irby will have a goal kick here for the Warriors. Hopefully the Warriors can get something going here, Kyle. The ball has remained in Warrior territory for quite some time. Yeah, absolutely. And the Warriors have another turnover, which will lead to a Lion throw-in. As long as the Warriors keep playing some good defense here, Kyle, I think I think this first goal is uh, going to stay that way. Yeah, I hope so. I I think that the uh, the offense is going to get something going here. As long as the defense can uh, you know maintain what they're doing right now and keep it where it's at, I think that the offense is surely going to come alive here sometime. Now you're going to cross in from the Lions, and luckily for the Warriors, no Lion player was there to receive the pass. But you got to give it to number seven, Emily Corrier, staying with her all, all across the field there, Kyle. Yeah, no doubt. Definitely, uh, definitely made it hard for uh, Emmanuel right there to get anything going. Playing some solid D, which will lead to a goal kick from number four, Ashton Irby again. And as that ball heads down, Joy Names is there to receive the pass and try to get this ball out of Warrior territory. And Ashley Romanowski sends it up. And as you can see, number 12, Rachel Curtis looking for a, a handball there. And I believe she's going to get that. And Kyle, I believe this is the first offensive possession the Warriors are going to have here in line territory. 
Uh, definitely the definitely the, the best opportunity they've had so far, no doubt about that. And Ash and Irby sends the ball down into the box. And the Lion defense comes up strong. And a shot on goal, which will sail wide right for the Warriors. Yeah, that was a good ball played in there by uh, Ashton Irby. And then, uh, you know, just solid defense right there by Emmanuel. Nothing to nothing to show for it for Southern Wesleyan. Yeah, good efforts there by number 10, Molly Waning, trying to get a shot on goal, making the uh, Lion defense move there. And a costly turnover there by the Lions there, Kyle. Absolutely. Hopefully the Warriors can make something out of it here. Oh, yeah, no doubt. And Brooke Cash has the ball. Tries to go for a back heel, but the Lion defense too strong there. And the Lions send, it up, send the ball all the way downfield. Kyle, there, these Lions are quick on their feet. Absolutely. And again, solid defense by number seven, Emily Corrier. And the Lions playing a little small ball here, trying to regroup. And a cross will come in. And Joy Namst tries to make a play on the ball, but the Lions are, are pretty quick here, Kyle. Yeah, no doubt. I do have to say, i got to respect the small ball here effort from the Lions. Playing well, and their offensive scheme seems to be doing them some justice here. Warriors seem to be struggling to get anything going offensively here, but that back line is holding strong for him, Kyle. And a cross comes in, and again, I believe that was Grace Williams with the, or no, excuse me, Haley Von Inns. And Jen Goyo comes up with a save there. Solid, yeah. Solid play right there. Uh, Manuel getting another. Another opportunity deep in Southern Wesleyan territory, and, and good job by the defense to, to not let anything come of it. No doubt about that, Kyle. And as we, we look down, the Warriors seem to be making their first sub. Not yet, but they're getting ready to. Trying to get some fresh feet in there, maybe switch it up a little bit. Now, I have noticed that the Warriors today have uh, tried a new formation, Kyle. And a short pass. And the Warriors trying to get something going here. Get, at least get it out of their zone. Mallory Butler clears it out of the zone, but quickly is put right back in. And Molly Waning sends that ball out of bounds to give the defense a little breath here, Kyle. And a wide open cross. Solid defense right there by number four, Ashton Irby. Shot on goal. Ooh. Just goes over the top of the crossbar. That was a solid boot there, Kyle. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely a quality shot right there on goal. Can't get better than that opportunity right there. And and right now the Warriors are going to make a sub in. Number 16, Michaela Latch, is going to come in for number three, Brooke Cash. And Jen Goyle will have a goal kick here. And another turnover, Kyle. Warriors are having trouble getting uh, those goal kicks back out of their territory. Yeah, absolutely. And, and there you have it. Michaela Latch already making a difference coming in right off the bench there. Gets a costly turnover and, and helps the Warriors get the ball out of the zone. And Rachel Curtis making a good effort there, trying to get that header, but it sails right over the top of her head. The Lions taking some time to try to regroup and get the off offensive positioning they want, forcing the Warriors to move across the field. You know, Kyle, not only are the Lions playing pretty fast here, they got some pretty pretty dang good footwork here. Yeah, no doubt about that. Definitely 
Definitely good footwork on, uh, for the most part, all of all of Emmanuel's team. And number 23 for the Lions, Lachlan Corliss. She's pretty quick herself, and she's trying to trying to make some moves here. And again, solid defense by Ashton Irby to deflect that ball right back to Jen Golio. And as that clear comes, Ashley Romanowski. Ashley Romanowski actually called for a handball there. I don't know about that one, Kyle. That one looked like she kind of chested it. Definitely hard to see from here, but, uh, you know, couldn't tell that. I definitely wouldn't have been able to tell if she used her hands. <laughs> yeah, we say that, but it is definitely a different look from up here in the booth, Kyle. No doubt about that. And some miscommun miscommunication there, trying to clear the ball, and Michaela Latch actually takes that off the body. And a turnover by the Lions here. And we have another sub for the Warriors, Kyle. Number 19, Georgie Lamb is going to come on for Mallory Butler. Smart move by uh, Coach Morell, getting some fresh legs in here. Uh, about 25 minutes left in the first half, trying to get something going here. And before that ball could be played, is out of bounds. Now, Kyle, what are you what are you seeing here from a defensive standpoint from the Warriors here? Um, you know, Emmanuel's had some chances, but but Southern Wesleyan's done a, uh, for the most part, a solid job of keeping uh, Manuel from capitalizing on their the amount of chances that they've had. Yeah, there's no doubt about that, Kyle. You said a lot of chances here the Lions have had here in the first half, and unfortunate that that first goal just happened to be off the uh, fingertips of Jen Golio. Uh, good opportunity for the I mean Lions, excuse me, and just a good shot on goal. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Definitely could have been prevented, but you know it's one of those that it happened, and you gotta you gotta do your best to keep the damage where it's at. Absolutely. A shot on goal. That'll go f wide right. Nothing happening there. And we got a sub for the Lions here. Number 24, Macy Linder, is going to come on for number 10. Or is that 18, Kyle? I can't see. Looks like number, uh, looks like number 18. Rachel Wedgenson. Molly Wayne, he's got the ball. And Grace Williams does a good job getting that ball in. Deep into Lion territory, trying to hit Rachel Curtis down in the corner. And we'll wait to see the call here. And I believe they called a foul here, which will lead to a corner kick from Ashley Romanowski. Solid opportunity here for the Warriors, Kyle. Yeah, absolutely. First corner kick of the game, trying to get something going here. And a solid cross by Romo. And another handball called on Ashley Romanowski, Kyle. Unfortunate there. That one was also tough to see. I definitely thought it caught her shoulder, though, but like we said earlier, it's, uh, it's a much different look up here in the booth. Exactly. You know, Kyle, i got to say I am impressed with the ball movement here from the Lions. Very absolutely. impressive. Absolutely. They, uh, their passing is uh, 
pretty stout and pretty on point for the most part. No doubt about that, Kyle. And again, Warriors coming up solid again with that defense. At least given some time to breathe a little bit here. Ooh, and a costly turnover by the Lions there. And for those of you just now joining us, welcome into Child's Field on a beautiful Wednesday evening uh, for your matchup against the Emmanuel Lions and your Southern Wesleyan Warriors. Thank you for joining us. It is 1-0. The Lions uh, got on top early here in the first half. And now the Warriors are trying to work their way back. And off that throw in a turnover from the Warriors, which will lead to Lion possession here. And the throw in comes in, a header. Oh, a solid steal from Ashley Romanowski. Sends it to the middle of the field to Rachel Curtis. And it's some physical play there, Kyle. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Got a... Got a sub here, Kyle. Number five, Haley Hernandez is coming off for number 12, Rachel Curtis. You know, other than that first goal, solid play here, Kyle. Absolutely. Between pretty, both teams. Pretty evenly matched so far. Uh, I would say that Emmanuel's had uh, many more opportunities. However, uh, nothing to show for them. Yeah, definitely have the positive here on the offensive possession side of things. And the Warriors trying to Molly Wayne and come up with a solid steal there to send it to Joy Ames. And a solid back heel by Joy Ames, but nothing coming of it. Good footwork by the Warriors there. Unfortunately, couldn't get anything going off of it. And the Lions trying to clear it out, give their defense some breathing room. And number 19, Hannah Logue for the Lions trying to get something going. Down in the far corner, and she tries to cross it. But Haley Von Enns comes up with a solid clear and sends it out of bounds to give the defense a, a rest and a chance to reposition themselves. And the throw in comes in. And a header inside the box. And again, Haley Von In comes up with a solid clear out. And Michaela Latch ends up with the ball. Sends it to Haley Hernandez, who's dribbling up the field at midfield now. She tries to get something going, but turns the ball over here. And the Lions back at it with some solid footwork and solid passing here. And right back. Look at that back and forth, Kyle. That's, that's really impressive there. Yeah, absolutely. Emmanuel doing a good job of uh, completing the majority of their passes. They uh, they rarely turn the ball over until they get it deep in Southern Wesleyan territory. Yeah, you're right, Kyle. I don't know what the completion or excuse me, oh, shot on goal. Not to go out of bounds, but I don't know the uh, the pass completion rating, but it's got to be definitely pretty dang high. Yeah, absolutely. I would uh I definitely have to agree with you on that one there, Sawyer. Now Kyle, we got a pretty good turnout here for tonight's game. Yeah, absolutely. With the today being the start of fall break, uh definitely didn't expect to see as many uh people out here as we've got. Yeah, not only that, but the the weather's definitely a, a factor too. It's a little bit colder, so people aren't having to come out here and just bake in the sun. Absolutely. Why not come watch a soccer game? Yeah, there you have it, Kyle. And Michaela comes up with a solid steal. And the Lions send it down into Warrior territory. Now at midfield. Number 19, Hannah Logue, doing some dribbling of her own, trying to get things set up. Sends it back into their territory to get the offensive, offensive things set up. And the Lions send it deep down into Warrior Territory. Oh, solid steal by Molly Wanning there, Kyle. And again with the physical play there. Whoa. 
Yeah, absolutely. Neither team really shying away from the contact. And again, that back line coming up solid for the Warriors here. And Michaela Latch will send that ball to Haley Hernandez, who will try to hit Romo. But the ball will go off her head. But Grace Williams comes up with a solid save there and keeps it in Warrior possession here. And a clear comes from the Lions. And number 19 for the Warriors, Georgie Lamb, comes up with a solid steal there, Kyle, to get this possession for the Warriors here down in Lion territory. And Ashley Romanowski comes up with the ball there, sends it to Molly Waning, who will send it to Haley Hernandez at midfield. Where the ball gets knocked away from the Lion defender, who is charging down the field and puts on some solid footwork there to lose Haley. And again, Kyle, I just got to reiterate the fact that these these Lions are very good on the passing uh, passing side of things here. Yeah, absolutely. Um. Definitely got a good offensive scheme here. Absolutely, they do uh, do a great job of completing their passes. You just you wonder why they haven't really been able to do much on offense, though. Yeah, you you wonder, and you're thankful a little bit here for the Warriors that. The score's not 2-0, uh, 3-0, any higher than what it is right now. And as that ball goes out of bounds, the Lions will have a throw in here. The Lions will make another sub. Number 13, Brenna Gomez will come on. And number 11, Lindsey Lee will make her way off the field. Lions trying to get some fresh legs in there. And Joy Napes comes up with a steal there. Ooh, and a little ricochet. <laughs> Haley Von Enns sends the ball up. Ashley Romanowski comes up with a solid pass back to Grace Williams. And Grace sends that ball back to Ashley Romanowski, who will lose possession. Number 23, Lachlan Corliss for the, for the Lions there, Kyle. She's just quick. you got to give it to her. Came out of nowhere there on, on Ashley Romanowski. Yeah, absolutely. She's been she's been all over the field over here on this right side. And a sloppy turnover there from the Lions on that clear end. And again, and some more physical play here, Kyle. Like you said, neither team shying away from contact. you got to love that. Absolutely. And number 19, Hannah Logue has the ball and shot on goal. Solid opportunity there for the Lions, and that ball will go in the back of the net. That'll lead to 2-0 Lions. Now, Kyle, that was a solid play there. Hannah Logue put a good shot on things. Honestly, just put it put it out of reach of Jen Golio. Yeah, absolutely. That right there was a... <laughs> solid performance of footwork, not only at that, too. No doubt, and even... Even better shot right there, just putting it right outside of the reach of the of the keeper, like you said. Solid play here from the Lions. And the Warriors make a sub right here. Number 22, Join Names will come off. And number 33, Madison Wolbert will make her way onto the field, Kyle. Now Grace Williams has the ball trying to make it up. And has a costly turnover, lets it dribble out of bounds. Warriors seem to be struggling to get things going here, not only on the defensive side, but mostly the offensive side here. Yeah, absolutely. You, with such a such a veteran, um, you know, such veteran play up at the top is uh, with Ashley Romanowski and, and Rachel Curtis. Um, you have to wonder when they're gonna when they're gonna get it going because they are definitely gonna get it going at some point. You just have to you just definitely have to wonder when. Hopefully here soon. Oh, 
You know, we talk about the Warriors struggling a little bit. We also got to give a little credit here to the Lions, Kyle. They're just playing some solid offense here. Yeah, absolutely. Manuel's definitely looked really good on the offensive side of the Ooh, ball. Oh, a solid touch pass there by Madison Wolbert. Got to like that. Oh, and Michaela Latch trying to hit Madison Wolbert down deep in the zone of the Lions. Warriors showing some promise here late in the first half. Ooh, physical play here. Molly Waning there draws the foul for the Warriors to give the Warriors possession here. Got a little over 10 minutes here remaining in the first half, Kyle. What do you think uh, Coach Morell is going to talk, talk to the girls about in the locker room? He's definitely going to have to hit on uh, the offense and definitely uh, tell them that uh, hopefully try and get something going here in the second half on the, on the offensive side. And uh, just tell the defense to, you know, keep doing what you're doing and, and maybe uh, adjust a few things here and there. But um. Yeah, maybe at that, you know, coming on the second half, maybe they have a little bit more offensive possession and a little uh, little pressure there. Maybe it'll, uh, maybe it'll take a little bit off of their defense here, causing the Lions to maybe revert back to defense here in the second half. But as of right now, the Lions are playing solid and the Warriors are struggling to uh, get the ball out of their zone here. And again, another clear there by the Warriors, and the throw-in comes in here. And Ash and Irby again with some solid defense. And number 24, Macy Linder will have the throw-in for the Lions. <laughs> and again, Kyle... Ball's being cleared out of bounds. You hate to see it for the ball, for, uh, the ball chaser, but good to see it for the for the defense here. Hmm. Not sure what that foul is. And we got a free kick here for the Lions. And a boot. And that ball will <laughs> clearly sell out of bounds. Pretty strong leg there, Kyle. Yeah, absolutely. That ball uh, sent that ball into outer space right there. <laughs> And Ash and Irby here, folks, for the Lions will have a throw in. I mean, excuse me, goal kick. <laughs> and some solid footwork put on there by the Warriors. And Molly Waning tries to hit Grace Williams up the field, but some solid defense by number 23, Lachlan Corliss. She's all over the field tonight here, Kyle. Yeah, absolutely. Seems like we've been uh, calling her name a good bit here tonight. You know, we've kind of touched, touched base on the Lions' offense here, but their defense is pretty strong as well. And we got a sub for each team here, number 24 for the Warriors. Maria Ramos will come on for number 10, Molly Waning. And number 23 will make her way off the field for the Lions' Lachlan Corliss. And, Kyle, I didn't see who, who came in for the, for the Lions. you happen to catch that? Number seven, Shannon Cox actually came in for the Lions there. And there's a throw in. And some, excuse me, some good defense here. Again, Kyle, Lions, Lions having some good ball movement here, especially deep down in the zone. Physical play here. Definitely going to be a foul on this one. I believe it's going to be called on number 16, Michaela Latch. This right here is a 
Lions trying to get something going here quick, and a shot on goal. Ooh, solid save by Jim Golio. From the looks of it up here, Kyle, I thought that ball was going in right into the back of the net. Yeah, absolutely. That was a uh, solid opportunity right there for Emmanuel. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that, but not only were the Warriors not set up, but the Lions weren't fully set up in that. And number 13, Rana Gomez was ready to go and almost put it in the back of the net there for the Lions. And the Warriors are struggling to connect passes here, Kyle. Yeah, you definitely hope to see them, uh, you know, start to take uh, easier passes and, you know, start connecting on, uh, on more of them. And again, not not knowing where we are on the field, folks. Just some miscommunication there. And the clear from Maria, Maria Ramos just to send off with another Warrior player out of bounds. That will lead to Lions possession. Ooh, I was about to say, close one on that one, Kyle. Lions got called for a handball there. Definitely saw that one here all the way up in the booth. Absolutely. My eyes aren't that bad. <laughs> and that'll lead to a free kick for the Warriors. Trying to get something going here late in the first half. Just under five minutes. Warriors trying to get on the board here, but another turnover. And the Lions clear that deep down into... Warrior territory. And again, Kyle, we're just not connecting on those passes right there. As you see on that last one, we luckily came up with the ball again there, but we're trying to hit people, and we're just not making those connections here. Yeah, absolutely. And that send up will go right into the hands of Hannah Welch, the goalkeeper for the Lions. And she will send that ball down to midfield. And a costly turnover by the Lions here. I want a touch pass from Grace Williams to hit Romanowski. And she's going down to the corner. Sends a cross. But again, solid defense from that back line of the, uh, the Lions there, Kyle. And that ball is out of bounds for a play can be made. And that will lead to a throw in by the Warriors. We have a sub for the Warriors here. Number one, Natalie Thompson will come on for number six, Grace Williams. And Thompson will be making the throw in here. And she hits Romanowski, and Romanowski has that touchback right back to Thompson. And Thompson will send that ball to midfield. Solid pass. But we can't come up with it here. And a late call here. Which will lead to... Lion possession here. And the free kick comes in. And the Lions having some good possession here, Kyle. Trying to run some minutes off the clock here. Sending it back to midfield. And the Warriors seem a little timid here to make some make some plays. Not yeah. stepping up to, to cover some of the other things. I did see Madison Wilbert make a play on that, kind of forcing some pressure. But other than her, I, that's the only, only really pressure I've seen from the Warrior defense here in this late first half. Yeah, absolutely. And um, with the amount of substitutions that that uh, Southern Wesleyan's made, start, you wonder how many starters are out there right now and, if he's going to put any back in before the half. And a throw in from the Lions. And Maria Ramos applying some solid pressure there to get possession there. And Madison Wolbert off of a touch pass from Ashley Romanowski. And another touch pass from Madison Wolbert. And that was a solid attempt by the goaltender, Hannah Welch, who comes out and a shot on goal. by Kayla Hughes, which will go out of bounds. But, man, you love to see that, Kyle. Great passes there. Unfortunately, 
Hannah Welsh just decided to come out of the box and make a tough play there. Absolutely. That was a uh, solid opportunity right there for uh, Southern Wesleyan. And, and you got to give all the credit right there to the goalkeeper for, for Emmanuel with a, a great play coming out of the box. Yeah, let's talk about the passes right there from the Warriors. A little touch pass back and forth from Wolbert and Romanowski. That was solid there, Kyle. Great, great possession, great opportunity, and hopefully we'll see a little bit more of that here in, here in this upcoming second half, Kyle. Yeah, absolutely. That was so far the best ball movement I've seen from from uh, from the Warriors, but uh, promising to say the least going into the second half. Going to clear down to midfield. Lions come up with it, and some solid defense right there by number 19, Georgie Lamb, to send that ball out of bounds and let the defense uh, set up here. And a shot on goal from way outside the box, number 13, Brianna Gomez, is unable to score on that one. Again, that ball was way outside the box there. It was a good attempt, but just came up a little short. And the Warriors will have a throw in. Thompson sends that ball to Ramos, who's got some solid footwork there, Kyle. That was impressive. And that ball will go off of a line defender off the attempted pass from Romanowski. And the throw in from Thompson sails over Romanowski's head. Nine, eight, seven, six, and as the clock seven, ticks down here, one eight, last throw in. Three, and nothing two, will come of it. One, and as that buzzer sounds, folks, that is the end of the first half here at Child's Field. For your matchup between the Emanuel Lions and your Southern Wesleyan Warriors, it is two to zero. The Lions are on top. Thank you for joining us for this first half, and we will see you shortly after this.
A trip to McAllister's is like visiting a lifelong friend. One who believes the recipe for good times calls for heartfelt conversation over a handcrafted meal, knows just how you like your tea, always has a refill ready, and welcomes every guest with their favorite food made to order. The kind of friend who is always up for trying something new and who you can count on for that familiar feeling of home. McAllister's Deli. Great food brings us together. Wake up and focus. I wonder if you ever considered that you only have one life to live. I wonder if you have the courage to be exactly who you were called to be. I wonder if you understand that you can do anything if only you believe it. I wonder if anyone told you that you can be a leader, a trendsetter, the innovator of that brand new whatever that's not here yet but that's only because you didn't introduce it yet I wonder if you realize that your life's purpose is bigger than you and that it's ready to be awakened and make its mark in history are you awake yet? but what if what if there's a place for you a place a place where you can dream higher dream bigger where your dreams and your future collide with God's vision and direction. Where thinking and doing go hand in hand with innovation. Where professors are more like mentors and guides. Where generosity is contagious. And if you catch it, you might just change the world, y'all. There is a place where real faith-filled community allows you to know and be fully known. Where faith is filled to the brim. So full, it can wash away your doubts where servant leaders of the next generation are grown, where your story can be written and change the course of history in that place. That place is Southern Wesleyan University. So it's time to wake up. You only have one life to live, because this is not a drill. This is not about cliches, shallow taglines, or some inspirational quote for you to tweet, snap, pin, or post. No, this is where snooze buttons are frozen. Alarm clocks are broken, where feet hit the floor cause dreams are now woken. This is it. Awaken your dreams. Awaken your soul. Awaken your purpose. This. When we travel, we expect to be uncomfortable. We long for the security and the comfort of home. But here at Best Western, we focus on providing you with the most ample accommodations imaginable. We want to be your home away from home. Your security and comfort when the road is long. We want to gather and build friendships and families, strengthen community and sustain athleticism. Here, we celebrate fun, hard work, and enjoy the wonderful world around us. Here, we want your downtime to be just as amazing as your game time. And finally, when it's time to leave, we hope you'll want to stay.
And welcome back, folks, to the start of the second half between your Southern Wesleyan Warriors and the Emanuel Lions on this beautiful Wednesday evening. And as we wait, Ashley Romanowski will send it off to start the second half here. Kyle, how do you think the Warriors are going to come out here in the second half? You know, I hope they come out here and do uh, try and get a little more offense going. Try and get a little more, uh, you know, a little more opportunities in the offensive side of things. So I, uh, I'm eager to see what they got here. Oh, yeah, no doubt about that, Kyle. And seems to me that the temperature has dropped here a little bit. Give the girls a little boost here. A little bit colder here, so maybe that'll be an effect here. And there's a offsides call here. And the Lions will have a free kick here. Number eight, Bailey Garland sends that down into Wesleyan territory, but Joy Ames quick to get it out. And quick touch passes back between Joy Ames and Ashley Romanowski. It's out of the corner. The Lions come up with a steal here. Kyle, let's go ahead and talk about Joy Ames and Ashley Romanowski really quick. Those two are always together doing a great job here on the offensive side of things for Southern Wesleyan. You're always hearing those names, whether it's Romo getting the assist or Names getting the assist. Yeah, absolutely. Those two have uh, have pretty solid chemistry and uh, seem to connect often. And you already like to see it, Kyle. Uh, Warriors out here coming out strong. And you like to see that. Madison Wolbert in the uh, starting lineup for the second half here. She came out, or excuse me, she came off the bench late in the first, and she put on a good show there. So, deserved to come out here and start the second half. Yeah, absolutely. Um, definitely not the same lineup that the uh, the Warriors put out there to start the uh, start the beginning of the game. And I know it's early on in the second half, but it's already seeming to pay off here. Warriors keeping the possession down here in line territory. Putting on some solid pressure, and Thompson comes up with a big steal there. And Curtis sends it to Romo. And a shot on goal for Romanowski comes up short. And Hannah Welch for the Lions will come up with a save there. You already like to see that, Kyle? Some, some ag aggressive play here from the Warriors here early on in the second half. Yeah, absolutely. Uh Definitely starting to get the opportunities that that we uh, and a solid for. clear there, Kyle. Or excuse me, cross from the uh, from the Lions to get that ball all the way down in the box of the Warriors, and a shot on goal would just go wide left. That was a solid opportunity there from that cross. For sure, you definitely see the uh, manual speed right there, and how quickly that they can turn things around. Yeah, no doubt about that, Kyle. And I will have to say, Kyle, we got a nice little breeze here going up here in the box. Can't complain about that. Beautiful fall night here on Wednesday. And just out here watching some soccer. Got to love it. And with that ball out of bounds, that will lead to a free kick from number four, Ashton Irby. And the kick comes in. And Ashton Irby will hit Molly Waning on a good pass here. And Joy Napes will recover it and get a solid cross. And try to hit Natalie Thompson, but just a little too far. Oh, and that'll go off the heel of the line defender. Number eight, Bailey Garland. And that'll lead to a throw-in from Thompson. And the throw-in comes in. And she hits her target, Joy Napes. But again, some miscommunication there. And Romo... Happened to take that one off the shoulder there. And I don't know if Rachel Curtis went for a header there, but she was slow to get up. Tried to get it before the goalie got it, but came up slow. And the Lions here putting some pressure on the defense for the Warriors. And Ashton Irby comes up solid with a clear.
And again, the ball goes out of bounds. And the Lions will regain possession. Number 19 for the Lions, Hannah Logue, will have the throw in. And a costly turnover. Molly Wanning comes up with a great steal there for the Warriors to apply some pressure here. Warriors coming out great here in the second half. An, un an unfortunate series of events here, folks. There's a foul called on the play, and you like, and the ref is going to make his way over to the Southern Wesleyan bench. I guess he didn't like uh, the comment there from Coach Morell. Coach Morrell seems to be upset there, and understandably there was a call on the field. Not really sure where it came from. A little late. And the free kick comes in from the Lions. The Lions will take the possession. Ashton Irby comes up with a solid steal there and has some smart play and sends it up, and Rachel Curtis quick to the ball. Solid play there by number 12. A veteran player for the Warriors here, Rachel Curtis, having some solid footwork, tries to Make a slick pass there, but that ball will trickle out of bounds. That's what you like to see here, Kyle. Number 12, Rachel Curtis, playing aggressive here. Especially off that throw-in, comes out of nowhere and applies pressure to the back line of the Lions here. And now we're looking at a Warrior throw-in. Yeah, absolutely. Great play right there by uh, Rachel Curtis. And now the Lions make their attempt at the Lions clear it down into Warrior territory. And some solid defense by that back line. Number 11, Haley Von Enns comes up with a clear out of bounds to give the defense a time, some time to, to regroup and catch their breath. Ooh, and off that pass right there to number 23, Lachlan Corliss. Again, we've seen her all over the field tonight. Shot on goal. Just out of the reach of Jen Golio, but luckily that ball is wide left. You know, Kyle, coming here in the second half, we've honestly seen kind of a complete switch here. Warriors are coming out strong, and the Lions are uh, a little timid here in the second half, coming out a little bit slower. Yeah, you see right there, uh, that was uh – Emmanuel's first uh, first real opportunity of the second half, and you like to, that's promising if you're Southern Wesleyan. Again, there's some solid play, Kyle. Molly Wayne and being physical to get the ball. And again, Kyle, you got to love how aggressive the Warriors are coming out. Very impressive. Definitely doing a better job of uh, keeping hold of possession in the second half and <clears throat> not trying to force things as much as they did in the first half. Yeah, no doubt about that, Kyle. The passing seems to be a lot crisper and cleaner. And like you said, the possession is just there so far in the second half. The Warriors are being smart, slowing it down a little bit, going back and forth, trying to get things set up the way they want it to have some more possible outcomes like they did at the, uh, the end of that first half there between Wilbert and Romanowski. Yeah, for sure. Right there, you can see Southern Wesleyan trying to play out of the back more. And uh, like you said, slowing things down. Which, which Ooh. And Haley Von Enns comes up with a solid boot down the, down the field to put it into Lion territory deep back in there. And Romo comes up with a solid steal there. And number nine, Brianna Pickens sends it down. And a cross comes in from Romanowski. A solid effort. And just... Off the head of Natalie Thompson, wide right. A solid attempt there from the Warriors, and very, very promising for them. Gotta, gotta, bring, uh, excuse me, gotta bring some courage and some just uh, some positive thoughts out of that play right there, Kyle. That was a, an amazing cross right there by uh, Ashley Romanowski, and you know, unfortunately, couldn't get a couldn't get ahead on the other end of it, but you know, 
Definitely promising, no doubt. Solid play lay by Rachel Curtis right there to keep it in and send it out of bounds. Very impressive the way the Warriors have come out here in the second half, Kyle. For sure. Definitely uh, definitely promising. And Hannah Welch for the Lions will have a goal kick here. That comes in. And not that good of a goal kick here. Still in Lion territory. And a costly turnover here by the Lions. Molly Waning comes up with it, sends it to Ashton Irby, who sends it down to Romanowski in the middle of the field, who sends it back to Molly Waning. And Waning will send that up to Thompson down in the far right corner, who doesn't play it and lets the Lion defenders come and send out of bounds for the throw in here. And Thompson comes in for the throw in, hits Romanowski inside the box, and Romo comes for a pass inside. To Rachel Curtis in an amazing attempt there. Another one, Kyle. Warriors playing some solid offense right here. And that ball just happened to go wide, or not even wide, just, just a little left of the goal there, Kyle. Great buildup right there by Southern West Wesley and look a lot better than they did in the first half. Absolutely. A lot the, better. The passing is so crisp right now. It's almost kind of a one-two touch there from Romanowski and Curtis. And as that goal kick comes in, Natalie Thompson comes up and keeps the ball in Lion territory. This is very promising for the Warriors here, Kyle. The Warriors coming out in the second half, and you can definitely see a fire has been lit. And the Lions making their way down for their second possession here on, or excuse me, in Warrior territory. And another turnover here by the Lions, Kyle. Lions playing a little bit sloppy here in the second half. And Brianna Pickens sends that ball up to Rachel Curtis, who makes an attempt as a slide tackle. But that back line for the Lions will send that out of bounds to slow the progress of the Warriors here. And the throw in from Thompson will hit names. And Nape's trying to find something going here, but turns the ball over. But Romanowski comes up big for the Warriors. Ashton Irby playing some solid defense here. Applying pressure. Ooh, solid contact there from number 13, Brianna Gomez. Nothing called there on that, that play. But luckily the Warriors' back line will come up big and clear it out. Brianna Pickens makes a costly turnover there. Deep in the zone for the Warriors. But Joy Nape's coming up big here, applying pressure and coming out of nowhere for that steal. Clearing it out of the zone. But number eight, Bailey Garland for the Lions. Quick with her feet to keep it in the zone. And I believe that's Madison Wilbur, excuse me, Wilbert, who sends that ball out of bounds to give the defense... A little bit of a rest here. We're going to have some subs here. Number 23, Callista Turner for the Warriors will come on for Rachel Curtis. Number 24 and number 18 for Emmanuel, uh, Macy Linder and Rachel Wedgeson come on for, for the lines. And Ashton Irby comes up with a Solid clear, but off the back of a Lion player here. Uh-oh, watch out there, ref. <laughs> I was like almost a heat-seeking missile there. Ref just got out of the way. <laughs> hey, everybody's got to be on their toes, even the refs out here, Kyle. Got to love it. Got to love it. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> And that ball will go out of bounds. Number 11 for the Lions, Lindsey Lee. Don't know what she was doing there. Sent that ball out of bounds. I don't know if she was trying to 
maybe cross it or or what but either way that'll lead to Lions possession and another sub here for the Warriors number 16 Michaela Lash will make her way on the field subbing out number 22 Joy Namest coach Corey Morrell already getting some some fresh legs in here got a little over 29 minutes left here in the second half and those for you who are just now joining us, welcome into Child's Field here on a beautiful Wednesday evening. Scores 2-0. Emmanuel is up right now, and honestly, Kyle, solid play between both teams here. And Grace Williams comes up with a steal. Don't know if she planned that, but that landed right at her feet. And there seems to be a, a foul on the play here, Kyle. I believe it's going to be called on Grace Williams. Seemed to be a bit of a late call right there. Not really sure yeah, where Kyle. the foul was. A little, little confusion up here in the in the box. Don't really know what that one was called for. And Wolbert being smart, sending it out of bounds here. And a cross comes in for the Lions to send the ball directly in the middle of the field right at the top of the box in Warrior territory. And that back line again, Kyle, coming up solid for the Warriors here. Honestly, first time the Lions are applying a lot of pressure here on the Warrior defense. Deep in the zone. And a cross comes in for the Lions. And 24 shot goal. Oh, saved by Jen Goyo. What a save there, Kyle. Barely got a finger on it just to hit it enough to where it catches the crossbar, or excuse me, crossbar just, not crossbar, post. <laughs> post just enough to where it goes out of bounds, but again, solid save by Jen Goyo there. And, and Emmanuel will have a corner kick here. And the cross comes in. And coming up big here is that back line again for the Warriors. Michaela Latch coming up big there. At least giving the defense a little bit more time to set up. Catch a breather after that line possession there. Ooh, solid play there from Romanowski. Who comes up big and ooh, perfect pass to Callista Turner here in the middle of the field. Solid opportunity there for the Warriors. Oh, Mikhail Latch comes up big back. Sends a shot on goal wide over the crossbar. Seemed to be another good opportunity right there for Southern Wesley, and then uh, you know, nothing to show for it, but definitely promising uh, activity up top. No doubt about that, Kyle. It's very promising for the Warriors. Love to see it. And that kick will come in. And the Warriors are coming out really aggressive here. Don't know what Coach Morrell said to him in the locker room, but it, boy, it must have worked. And not only are the Warriors playing well, but the Lions are kind of playing some sloppy soccer here. Yeah, you really hope to see uh, see some results from Southern Wesleyan and see uh, if they can get uh, one or two goals on the scoreboard here in the second half. Absolutely here, Kyle. Oh, solid footwork by number eight, Bailey Garland from the Lions. Oh, and a shot on. Oh, big-time collision in the box between Hannah Welch and Ashley Romanowski. Hopefully both of the both of them are okay. That was a big collision, Kyle. We heard that all the way up here in the box. Good to see Ashley Romanowski up and walking around. She seems to be fine. But Boyle, that was a solid hit. Yeah, that was a crazy collision down there. Glad to see Ashley Romanowski up and walking around. The Warriors need her leadership and her ability 
here with the remainder of the season, and you hope that number 97, Hannah Welch, is, is okay. That was, like we said, that was a big collision here. With this injury, folks, we're going to go ahead and take a little break here as the team is getting water, and number 97, Hannah Welch, is being checked out, so we'll be back with you here in a second. Conference Carolinas is where tradition is unmatched and excellence is earned daily in the classroom, during practice, and in high-level competition. Our virtues set us apart. We work daily to build champions in body, mind, and soul. It's who we are. This is Conference Carolinas. And just like that, folks, we're back. And number 97, Hannah Welch, seems to be doing okay. Love to see it, but also uh, you wonder how. Because how both of those players actually got up. Because that was a big-time collision there. It's like Ashley Romanowski has to come off the field for a little bit. And the Lions are going to make their way down the field with a solid, solid cross there from the Lions. And Thompson comes up big with the clear here. And the Lions seem to be adding a little pressure here late in the second half. Solid play by Michaela Latch there, number 16, to put a stop to things there and give that back line a chance to clear the ball. And number eight, Bailey Garland. The Lions will have the throw in. And that comes in with Ashton Irby there to put a stop to things. A little bit of back and forth here, Kyle, between bo uh, both teams. Just sending it, sending it out, getting it back in, sending it out. Yeah, you, uh, you hope to see uh, a couple more co completed passes if you're, if you're the Warriors. And solid defense there by number nine, Brianna Pickens. Doing a good job of stepping up there and intercepting the pass, or at least to, to block it and put a stop to that one. But now the Lions are making progress again. And a shot on goal way right. And now we have a sub for the Warriors, number seven, Emily Corrier is going to come onto the field. And she's going to take the place of number one, Natalie Thompson. You know, Kyle, number seven, Emily Corrier, a uh, big part of that back line uh, for the Warriors, but she seems to be struggling with a little bit of a knee injury here. Yeah, no doubt. You can see that she has the uh, the knee brace over there on her right knee, and, you know, you hope that everything's, uh, you know, 100%, but she seems to be doing all right. Yeah, and it's notable, noticeable that she doesn't have as much minutes as she normally has, but um, got to hope that she's okay and... Coach Morrell playing it smart and safe and keeping her ready for the rest of the season. And the Lions putting a lot of pressure on the Warriors here. Number 14 shot way outside the box and a diving save by Jen Golio. Number 14, Vicky Letter sent that ball from way outside the box and Jen Golio coming up big there with a diving save. Very impressive from both sides of the ball there. And the throw in comes in. And the, like I said before, Colin, the Lions are applying a lot of pressure here late in the second half. And a shot on goal from Vicky Letterer again, but 
just off the the right side of her foot. Didn't seem to get all uh, get all the ball there, and it went out of bounds. It's going to leave a free kick for the Warriors here. Ash and Irby will take that one. As that kick comes in. The Warriors come up big. Molly Waning here. And again, the Lions applying pressure here late. And the second, a shot on goal again from Litterer. But blocked by a Warrior defender. I believe that was Ashton Irby who put the body on it. Taking one for the team there, Kyle. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, that that ball was struck hard. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I am not standing in front of that. And the cross comes in from the corner. And Ashton Irby coming up big again with the header to get it out of the zone. And a shot on goal by number 20. Even though it was a good boot, happened to be right at Jen Golio. Nothing, uh, nothing hard there for that save for Jen. Definitely one of the easier saves she's had to make tonight. <laughs> no doubt about that, Kyle. And honestly, the first time the ball has been in, or excuse me, was in Lion territory here in the last five minutes. Warriors struggling to get something going here. And Calissa Turner tries to get a pass to Emily Corrier, but adds a little too much power to it and sends it out of bounds. And a throw in will come from the Lions here. And Molly Waney comes up with it here. Tries it to Emily Corrier, but just a little too far behind her. And Kyle, you can definitely see Emily Corrier not too uh, too quick on those cuts. Like we said earlier, dealing with uh, the knee injury. Definitely can tell it's bothering her a little bit, but she's, she's playing through it, staying strong, and trying to help the Warriors in any way she can. Being a team player there. Yeah, that's all you can really ask for. And off that throw and that ball, hugged the line there. Thought it was going out of bounds, but... We come up big there, and the ball go out of bounds. We have a sub here. Number eight for the Warriors. Kayla Hughes is going to come on for Madison Wolbert, number 33. Madison doing a good job there, taking a breather. Played some solid defense here for the Warriors in the second half. And that throw in from Emily Corrier will end up in lion possession here. And even though the Lions kind of came out here sloppy in the second half, Kyle, they seem to be regaining some of that offensive possession here and kind of playing at ease now again. Oh, solid footwork there by number 11. Shot on goal. A solid goal there, Kyle. Holy cow. Number 11, Lindsey Lee putting on a show out there. From, yeah. the, from the footwork and then that precise shot to hit it off the crossbar into the back of the net. Beautiful shot right there, no doubt, hitting the uh, bottom right corner. Man, oh, man, nothing you can do there. That's just, that's a hats off play to, to Lindsey Lee. Holy cow, Kyle. Can't really ask for a better shot. <laughs> yeah, you can. That's a, That was very impressive. And that'll lead to 3-0 for the Lions. And we got three subs coming on here for the Warriors. Maria Ramos is going to come on for Molly Waning. Calista Turner's coming off, and Haley Hernandez will take her place. And 22 Joy Names is going to come on for Brianna Pickens. Now that last goal has to be disheartening there for the Warriors, Kyle. Yeah, you almost uh, you almost start to wonder if that one right there put it out of reach. Going down three nothing with. Uh, about 20 minutes left in, in the second half. You hate to see it, Kyle, but again, we talked about it. That was just very impressive there from Lindsey Lee. And the ball is kind of, be, kind of being kicked all over the place here, and both teams are struggling to get something going here. 
Emily Corrier for the Warriors will have the throw in here. Tries to hit Maria Ramos, but the Lions come up big with another steal. And again, Kyle, we talked about the speed of the Lions in the first half. And, you know, they came out a little bit slow here in the second half, but they're applying that speed here late in the second half. Or, excuse me, first half is what we talked about. And then coming out here in the second half, they were a little bit slow. And then they're kind of just getting right back to where they were. Yeah. You definitely saw more out of uh, Southern Wesleyan's uh, offense here in the second half at the beginning. And it seems that... Uh, uh oh, solid steal there by number 11. Ooh, shot on goal. And luckily, that ball hits the top of the crossbar and makes its way out of bounds. Again, number 11, Lindsay Lee, come up with a big steal there. Yeah, for sure. She, uh, she's been uh, doing it all here for the last couple of minutes, and looks like she's coming off the field now. Yeah, number 23, Lachlan Corliss is going to take her place. Number 14, Vicki Litter is going to make her way off the field. And number 18, Rachel Wedgensen is also going to make the way off the field. And Hannah Logue right there for the Lions. Putting some pressure on and sending the ball down to the corner. I believe to number 23, Lachlan Corliss. Kind of hard to see up here, but judging by the speed, I think that's, yep, that is Lachlan. We talked about her early on in the first half now. She's been all over the field tonight. Yeah, we definitely talked uh, a lot about her in the first half and haven't heard much from her here in the second half. And the Lions will have a throw in here. And number 13, Brianna Gomez for the Lions will send that one out of bounds. A little questionable there, but I guess it's all part of the process. And Ashton Irby sends that one down to Maria Ramos. And Haley Von Enns will send that one back down to Ashton Irby down in the far left corner. And the Warriors trying to get it out of their zone. And almost a costly turnover there by the Warriors deep in the zone. And a solid pass there, Kyle, for number 16. And Corlin Lockless. Or, excuse me, Lachlan Corliss. All the way around. <laughs> There's a foul called on the play. Brianna Gomez is going to be charged with that foul. And the Warriors are trying to get something going here, Kyle, here. Late in the second half. Ooh, and some solid contact here. Ashley Romanowski going down hard. Looks like a penalty kick. Man, again, talking about the solid contact here in this game. Two big collisions here, at least for Ashley Romanowski, and she's going to have a free kick here. Goal or penalty kick. This would definitely be helpful for Southern Wesleyan. And the shot comes in. And Ashley Romanowski will get her 10th goal of the season here. Adding the first goal. And that'll make it three to one. The Lions are still on top. Yeah. 
Well, cut the deficit back down to two, so. And honestly, Kyle, still got a little upwards of 15 minutes here, and if the Warriors can, can turn it around like they did uh, early on in the second half, you never know. And that goal will definitely give them a boost here from the veteran Ashley Romanowski Sr. here. Playing well throughout this entire game, and she's had some scary uh, collisions here, but she's come up big for here for the Warriors here late in the second. And you can already tell, Kyle, the Warriors are getting a little getting a little fight at them here. Coming out big. Definitely see multiple players moving to the ball. And Hannah Logue, number 19 for the Lions, is dribbling the ball all the way downfield. But Haley Von Enns is coming up solid with some tough defense here. Yeah, it seems like we've been calling her name a lot tonight for uh, Southern Wesleyan's back line there. Yeah, coming up big for the Warriors here. And... Again, doing a great job and forcing Hannah Logue to dribble the ball out of bounds for Warrior possession here. And the throw in comes. Join Ames to the target and it connects. Join Ames trying to get something going here off of Romanowski's leg. Nothing going. And that'll be a call on number five, Haley Hernandez, trying to come up and get the save, but collides with a lion player and she's actually going to receive a yellow card for that one Kyle and that's going to lead to a free kick for the Lions here and we got a few subs waiting for the Warriors here number nine Brianna Pickens and number 10 Molly Waning waiting to come on the field And a free kick comes in, and nothing comes of it. Join Ames stands in front of it and shuts that attempt down. And that back line again for the Warriors. Kyle coming up big and sending the ball out of bounds here. And the Lions sending it back towards midfield. Trying to maybe slow some things down here a bit, maybe, Kyle, and run some minutes off the clock here. Definitely you, seems that way. Yeah, you can hear Coach Morell keep going, Joy, uh, talking to Joy Names down there, trying to keep the uh, pressure applied here. For sure. Hopefully they don't... Uh don't, aren't getting too tired or discouraged right here. And a shot on, big shot on goal, rings off the crossbar from way outside the box, Kyle. And Haley Hernandez comes up with the ball, sends it to Ashton Irby, who will try to clear it and send it down to Lion territory. And a costly turnover there, Kyle, by number eight. Bailey Garland lets the ball dribble out of bounds. I don't know about that one. I don't know if she was trying to do that or what, but that's going to lead to... Warrior possession in Lion territory. Yeah, I couldn't tell you what the plan was there. And those two subs, Brianna Pickens and Marley Wayne, coming on from Michaela Latch and Maria Ramos. And some solid passing here after that throw-in comes in. And Ashton Irby tries to get it to join Ames, but sends it over her head. And a foul on number 23, Lachlan Corliss for the Lions here. Will lead to a free kick for the Warriors. And for those of you who are just now joining us, welcome into this pretty close game here. I know the score doesn't say it, but both teams are playing well. The Lions are up 3-1 to one here, and this cross comes in into the box. Nothing happens here. The Lion defense comes up big. And the Warriors have a costly turnover here, Kyle. And number 19, Hannah Logue has the ball. Put on some solid footwork here. Making that back, li back line of the Warriors miss. And honestly, Kyle, that ball looked like it went in, but I think it went over. It's a shot on goal for number 19, Hannah Logue. And in fact, it did go over. Got to give it to number 19 there. Hannah Logue putting on an impressive uh, show of footwork there to lose that those last two defenders for the Warriors there. Oh, for sure. 
definitely uh, good footwork. And, uh, and Joy Ames has a solid pass up the sideline. A little bit of contact here. And they call for a stoppage of the clock. And another free kick here for the Warriors. Got a little over 11 minutes remaining here in the second half. And hopefully the Warriors can add on two here quickly. And I believe Molly Waning is going to be taking this free kick here, Kyle. And the kick comes in, in the side of the box. And a header attempt by Ashton Irby, but the ball was too far over her head to make contact. And Brianna Pickens, number nine, comes up big for the Warriors to keep possession for the Warriors. Number six, Grace Williams tries to send it to Ashley Romanowski. But the Lions come up big and send it down to midfield. And Haley Von Enns will have the ball. And the ball's at midfield. And they try to hit Haley Hernandez deep inside the zone. But just out, out of her reach. And that'll, that'll go to Hannah Welch, the goalkeeper for the Lions. And that kick comes in. Kyle, what do you think Coach Morell is hoping out of this Warrior team in the final few minutes here and honestly the remainder of the season? Uh, for the game, I hope that, uh, or I'm pretty sure that he's hoping for some uh, some solid effort and, you know, good energy. Again, Kyle, sorry to interrupt you, but again, number 19, Hannah Logue putting on a, on a show with her feet out there. Oh, yeah, no, no problem there. She... Uh, she definitely has good footwork and can can definitely do some some crazy things with the ball. <laughs> Absolutely. Sorry to interrupt you again. Go ahead and keep explaining about uh, what you're saying about the season. Yeah. No. Um, as far as the season goes, I I think that you know you got to be optimistic. You know, you're three and three right now, and if uh, the game continues on the path it is right here, you know, going three and four, and uh, I think you got to be optimistic and and realize that you know. You still got a chance to do some damage in the conference and and uh, look forward to the next game. I agree, Kyle. And not only that, um, even though they're down 3-1 to one right here late in the second half, the Warriors can definitely take away some promising things here and positive things here in, in this game versus the Lions here. A great conference game uh, between two solid soccer teams here, and it's uh, it's been an honor calling with you, Kyle. Same to you. Same to you. And Ashton Irby will come up and send that ball way out of bounds. And that will make its way into the kudzu. And the throw in for the Lions will end up with Shannon Cox who sends the ball up and Jen Golio comes up out of the box to make a save. Oh, and a solid header by Brianna Pickens to get that ball a little bit up further and in, into line territory. And Romanowski coming up big with a steal here. We can't get anything going out of it, Kyle. And Lindsay Lee will send it down to the corner. She will hit Lachlan Corliss, and she'll send it right back to Lee, who will send it up for a cross into the box. And the Warriors will send it out. And Romo comes up with a solid steal there to leave it to Haley Hernandez, who he gives a solid pass to Emily Coyer. Emily Coyer up with a touch pass, just misses Romanowski on that pass. Promising effort there, Kyle, uh, with at least eight minutes here. The quick throw in by Emily Coyer to Haley Hernandez, who has it down inside the box. She comes with a cross, and nothing happens there. I think her intended target was Romanowski, but I believe... Lion defenders got at least a foot on it or something because it's going to lead to a 
Corner kick from Ashley Romanowski here on the Warriors. Very promising here, Kyle, with seven minutes left here. Love to see the strive and the effort here from the Warriors late in the second half being down. And a cross comes in. Solid cross. Just over the head of Emily Coyer. And Molly Waning tries to come in and, and make a kick, but nothing happens. And Romanowski coming up big again, sending another cross down into the box. Solid play from Romanowski here tonight, Kyle. Yeah, you know, we talked earlier about how uh, how we knew she was gonna gonna have a solid impact on this game, and she uh, she definitely did with the with the penalty kick and and uh, just there having a put just herself. a yeah big presence as you were saying, Kyle. Yeah, great play from here from her tonight, and not only that, but the Warriors as well. And uh, you got to give it to the Lions, Kyle. Uh, Coming out playing some solid soccer here tonight on a gorgeous Wednesday evening. And just a privilege to be out here calling calling the game and watching some good soccer here, Kyle. And Haley Hernandez has the ball, and she'll send that to midfield to Brianna Pickens, who will try to get something going. And feet collide, and that will end up in lion possession. And number 14, Vicki Letterer, will send that up to number 11, Lindsey Lee. And that back line again for the Warriors coming up big to send it out. And Joy Names is in a tough battle here to come up with possession. And there's going to be a foul called on Joy Names here. For those of you who are just now joining us uh, late here in the second half, welcome into Child's Field, a gorgeous evening here on this Wednesday uh, for a matchup between the Emanuel Lions and your Southern Wesleyan Warriors. Hard-fought ball game here. Uh, Lions are on top as of right now. It's 3-1. Uh, to one. I'm sorry, Bryce, alongside uh, me is Kyle McCrary. And Kyle, just like I said before, solid ball game played here tonight. Yeah, can't complain too much. Uh, definitely would have liked to see a little bit more uh, out of Southern Wesleyan's offense, but for the most part, you know, solid ball game. Yeah, like you said, you would have liked to see the, the Warriors come out here and kind of get back on that winning track. And, you know, there's five minutes, a little under five minutes left, and you never know, but but uh, the Lions came out here uh, determined to get, an, uh, get a W and playing well. Now, Kyle, if you're Coach Murrell, what are, what are some of the positives you think you can take away from this game? Um, definitely the way they started the second half. They started the second half with a, a lot of energy and, you know, completed a lot of passes, and ultimately uh, it led to to a goal. You know, you, you just would uh, definitely take that away and, you know, maybe try and move that into uh, the first half next game. Yeah, no doubt about that, Kyle. Uh, like you said, Warriors came out, and you hope, this, hope Cor Coach Cora Morell will maybe uh, get something going here late in the uh, second half. But you talked about coming out strong in the second half, and I agree. The Warriors came out with a lot of fire and a lot of energy, and you just hope that they, uh, Coach Cora Morell can kind of show them that that's what it's all about and maybe use that and take that into – the uh, upcoming game. And Ash and Irby will have the kick here. And not a lot going on right now here, Kyle. Uh, both teams, or at least the Warriors are trying to send it out of the bounds, and the Lions playing a little bit of keep away here, trying to run a few minutes off the clock, even though we only have a little under four minutes left. Good boy, good boy. 
And that ball will end up deep down in Warrior territory. And the Lions trying to put on a, another display of solid footwork there. Number 13, Brianna Gomez trying to do her best down in the far right corner. And Haley Von Enns comes up big with a clear. But the Lions are quick to jump on it and keep it back in Warrior territory, Kyle. They sure are. They've uh, they've been doing a pretty good job um, all night with their back line, you know, with the exception of the the penalty kick. But you know, other than that, they've done a a pretty exceptional job of uh, keeping Southern Wesleyan out of their territory. Yeah, no doubt about that, Kyle. Uh, the Lions came out here strong tonight. You got to give it to them. Hats off to them. Uh, Done a good job tonight. And Brianna Pickens will send that to Emily Corrier, who will send that up to Haley Hernandez. And Hernandez with a quick touch pass back to Pickens, who will send that down into Lion territory. But the Lions again quick to send that back down into Warrior territory. Haley Hernandez playing, playing solid out there right now. And drawing a penalty there, and that'll lead to a free kick for Brianna Pickens. And Pickens sends a boot down into the box. Intended target was Hernandez. And Romanowski coming up big here. Ooh, and a solid save right there by Hannah Welch. Barely getting a leg on that one. Romanowski almost added her uh, second tally tonight. Definitely looked like he was going to trickle into the back <laughs> of the net after, uh, even after the keeper got a piece of it, but I guess not. Yeah, but now we have a corner kick from actually Romanowski, and she sends that in. Intended target, excuse me, intended target was Courier, but the Lions come up big and will send it out of bounds, or excuse me, not out of bounds, down the field. And we're just under a minute here, folks. Ooh, and a solid cross by Romanowski there, only if. The Warriors are a little bit deeper down in the zone. Brianna Pickens coming up big to intercept that kick. Madison Wilbert trying to do everything she can to keep the hope alive for the Warriors here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. <laughs> And with that final buzzer, folks, that'll be the end of it. Thank you for joining me and Kyle here on a wonderful Wednesday night for your matchup between the women's teams here of Emmanuel and Southern Wesleyan. A uh, great matchup between both teams here. And if you want to stick around here in a few, uh, about 30 minutes, we will go ahead and uh, be underway with the men's game here tonight. But other than that, thank you all for joining us, and we will see you next time.